So, in simplifying expression with rational exponents, dapat alam natin yung mga, nabihin na natin yung mga law. So, ang exponent. So, may mga exponential law. Then, dito din naman, may, pa, may mga law at exponent tayo. Na, kung paano yung law at exponent, ganyan lang din siya sa law of rational exponent. Nagmin ratio lang siya. Diba? Pero, yun pa din naman. Power of a power. Diba? So, ganyan pa rin naman ang kanyang law sa law of exponent. So, kauna-una ang law na meron tayo is the product rule. Or rule of exponent or law of exponent. The product rule. So, paano ba nalalaman pag product rule? So, for example, we have the x raised to n. Then, i-multiply natin siya sa x raised to n. Diba? So, ang kalalabasan nito, copy lang yung base. So, kailangan kapag nagka-product rule tayo, is same base sila. So, same base naman tayo na x. Then, yung m natin, ipagka-plus na lang natin m plus n. So, pagka-plus natin sila. Okay? So, m times n, m raised to m, ah, x raised to m times x raised to n is equal to x raised to m plus n. So, pagka-plusin lang natin yung exponent natin dito. So, another example nito, alimbawa, meron tayong 2 raised to 2, then times 2 raised to 3. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin niya? Because we have the same base, so 2, then yung exponent natin, pagka-plusin lang natin, 2 plus 3, that is 5. So, meron na tayong 2 raised to 5. Okay? Ganun lang siya kadali sa product rule. Pinag, pinag multiply lang natin yung ating exponent. So, paano naman? Kasi rational tayo, diba? So, kailangan, paano kapag rational yan? Siyempre, kapag rational, yung exponent ang din pagkakasin natin. Halimbawa, meron tayo ditong 3 raised to 1 over 5. Then, times 3 raised to 3 over 5. Okay. So, magiging equal siya. So, simplify natin siya. 3 times 3, ay 3 times 3, ay base 3 times 3. Yung base natin na 3, ikakapi lang natin. Okay? Kasi base natin siya. So, katuloy nga sabi ko kanina, dapat na we have the same base na para may pag-plus naman natin yung kanilang exponent. So, exponent natin, we have 1 over 5 plus 3 over 5. So, kapag ganyan naman, fraction rule na lang gagamitin natin dyan. Paano ba tayo nag-plus ng fraction? So, kung same denominator na sila, copy natin same denominator. Kung hindi pa naman, kukuha na natin sa LCD. Then, yung 1 plus 3, that is 4. So, magiging 4 over 5 na ang kanyang magiging 4 over 5 na ang kanyang exponent. Okay? Dahil, sinag-plus natin. So, yun na yung kanyang exponent. 3 raised to 4 over 5. Nakikindihan ba? Maintindihan? Sure, yes. Then, that is a product rule. So, punta naman tayo sa quotient rule. Kapag quotient, that is division, diba? Division naman pag quotient. So, for example, we have your x. x raised to n over x raised to n. Okay? So, anong gagawin natin dyan? Kapag naman sa product rule or sa quotient rule, depende. Kung mas malaki si m, so, ipagmaminus kasi natin yan. Ipagmaminus natin. So, ang equal lang nito is x raised to n minus n. Okay? Ipagmaminus lang natin sila. Then, kapag negative, nasa ilalim. Kapag positive, nasa taas. Yung kanilang sagot. Okay? So, paano? So, example niya yan. Nimbawa, we have your x raised to 3. Then, over x 
raised to. So, magiging x raised to 1 na lang yan. Diba? X na lang. So, paano kapag quotient naman yung kanyang exponent? Nimbawa, meron tayo dito ang quotient na exponent na we have 3 raised to 5 ay 3 over 5. Yung x naka raised to 3 over 5. Then over x raised to 1 over 5. Diba? So, ita-copy lang natin yung same base na x. Then, i-ano natin? 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So, magkakaroon tayo 3 over 5 minus 1 over 5. So, pag minus na natin yan, 3 minus 1, that is 2. Then, over 5. So, magkakaroon tayo ng 2 over 5. Yan. x is equal to 2, 2 over 5. So, x is raised, raised to, x raised to 2, 2 over 5. Okay? Yan na yung sagot natin. So, titignan natin kasi kapag pinag-minus natin ito, positive pa rin ang sagot. So, kaya naka-over siya, naka siya ganyan. Okay? Over 1 siya. So, hindi na natin sinusulat yung over 1. Pero kapag naging negative 2 over 5 to, pwede natin i-sulat tala na 1 over x raised to 2 over 5. Ganyan naman siya. Kapag negative, nasa ilalim, ibig sabihin, kapag mas malaki yung number ng denominator natin na exponent, nasa baba dapat siya. Pero kapag nasa taas naman, mas malaki itong exponent ng ating numerator. Okay? So, nasa taas siya. Since mas malaki ang, ang exponent ng numerator natin, nasa taas siya. Kaya over 1 dapat to. Hindi lang na natin sinasulat yung over 1. Okay? That is it. So, meron na tayong quotient rule. Meron tayong product rule. Pag quotient rule, ano na naman yun eh. Divide, diba? So, meron din tayong tinatawag na product of a product. So, pag product, iyon yung sagot sa multiplication. Product of a product. Okay. Power rule pala muna tayo. Okay. So, we have here power rule. So, power rule. Power of a power. Or power rule ang tawag dito. So, pag ganitong power rule, halimbawa meron tayong x raised to m then raised to n. Da? So, ang mangyari lang dyan, ipagmumultiply natin yung kanilang exponent. So, magkaroon tayo ng x, m, then n. So, kapag magkadikit ang dalawang variables, it means that it's multiplication. Okay? Multiplication kapag magkadikit. So, gawin natin rational ang kanilang mga exponent. So, for example, nagkaroon tayo ng x raised to 1, 3, 1 over 3, raised to 2 over 5. 2 over 5. So, ano yan? 1, x raised to 1 third, then raised to 3 over 5. So, ang gaya sabi ko kanina, ipagmumultiply lang natin yung ating exponent. So, dito kapag ganito yung scenario, pagmumultiply lang natin, syempre, copy natin si base, and then, magkakaroon tayo ng 1 over 3 times 3 over 5. 3 over 5. So, pwede natin i-cancel to. I-cancel to. Magiging 1 over 5 na lang siya. So, kapag kinansel at cancel natin natin to, 1 over 5 na lang matitira. Pero multiply pa rin natin. Para, doon pa rin tayo sa what we are talking. 1 times 3, that is 3. Then, 3 times 5, that is 15. Then, 3 over 15, that is 1 over 5. 1 over 5. Okay? So, 3 over 15, ang logos nyo yung 1 over 5. So, simply cancel mo to, cancel mo to, matitira si 1, matitira si 5. So, 1 over 5 then. So, magiging sagot natin is 1 over 5. X raised to 1 over 5. Okay? 
So, ganun lang sa kasimple. So, kapag power roll, so, pag mumultiply naman natin. Kapag product roll, ipag natin yung exponent. Kapag power roll, ipag mumultiply naman. Naunawaan ba? So, let's have here power of a power. So, paano naman kaya ang power of a power? So, ito na yung sa power of a power. So, for example, we have here x a to m So, ito ka ka. Nagawin natin the first pinagam. Okay? So, para din siya ang power rule, di ba? Pero dalawa yung kanya ang nasa loob na may exponent. So, tawag dito, power of a power. So, parang power rule din siya. Dumami lang yung nasa loob, di ba? So, distributed proper pa yung gagamitin natin dito. Kung ito, pinagmultiply natin yung m sa n, di ba? Pinagmultiply natin. Ito, ganyan din. Kapag mumultiply natin yung m sa b, and also yung n, i-mumultiply din natin sa b. Magkabukod sila. So, pwede natin isulat na x raised to m b, then y raised to n b, or b n. Okay? So, pwede ganyan yung mangyari sa kanila. Na x raised to m b, then y raised to n b. So, kung gagawin natin siyang rational, ang bawa, we have here x raised to 1 half, y raised to 1 third, then raised to two-thirds. Okay? So, pwede tayo magkasagot itong multiply natin one-half to two-thirds. So, magkakaroon tayo ng x raised to one-third. So, sir, paano naging one-third dyan? So, tandaan natin one-half times two-thirds. Kasi pag mamultiply natin si dito, 1 half times 2 thirds, so cancel natin si 2, cancel natin si 2, si 1 thirds ang matitira. Then, ang katabi naman niya is 1, then 3 over 9, 3 over 9, or ang 3 over 9, that is 1 third. Okay? So, 3 over 9, that is also 1 third. So, yan yung magiging sagot natin sa power rule. Ipag mamultiply natin distributed property ng power to a power. Okay? That is a power of a power. So, tandaan nyo yung mga ganyang scenario kasi mamaya gagamitin natin pag haluhaluhin natin lahat yan mamaya. So, this is the power of a power. May tanong ba kayo? Wala? So, let's have here another rule. So, the rule, buran ko na nga itong tada ko. This is power of a token. So, for example, we have here x raised to m, then n, x raised to n, then nakapower siya kay a. A. Okay? So, katulad ng power of a power, diba dinistribute natin to? Yung m, dinistribute natin sa b, pati yung n, dinistribute natin sa b. Ganyan din dito. Bawat exponent, dapat i-multiply natin siya kay a. Okay? Bawat exponent, i-multiply natin siya kay a. Kasi this is a power rule. So, kung mamultiply natin, magkakaroon tayo ng x raised to am am over x raised to an. Diba? So, ganyan. Nag-multiply na, multiply na natin. So, kapag ganyan na multiply na natin, ang sunod natin gagawin, 
ano, ipagmamainas yan, diba? So, ang AM, pati AM, magkaiba yan, hindi natin sa pagmamainas. Pero, pwede naman natin isulat ang expression, X is raised to AM minus AN. Okay? So, ito na yung final answer natin. Final computation natin. Procedure. Kapag ganyan naman na quotient rule, then parehas rational. So, I will give an example. Ngayon ba, we have x raised to 3 over 2 over x raised to 1 third. 1 half na lang. Raised to 1 half. Okay? Then, yung dalawang to, naka-raised pa sila or naka-raised pa sila kay 2, 5. Okay. Naka-raised pa sila kay 2, 5. So, equal natin. Una natin, una natin x. So, 2 third times 2, 5. So, magka-i third second, third second, 3 over 2 times, kasi itatayin sa atin yun, diba? Then, times 2 over 5. So, simply cancel nyo na ng 2, cancel ng 2. 3 over 5 ang matitira. So, meron tayo sa, sa numerator na 3 over 5. Then, number 2 naman, x din yung base. So, meron tayong 1 half times 2 over 5. So, cancel natin yung 1 half, cancel yung 1 half. Matitira ay si 1 over 5. Okay? So, meron na tayong 1 over 5. Ang sunod natin gagawin dito is ito subtract natin. Kasi kailangan talaga natin sa ito subtract. So, katulad ng ginawa natin dito, we're going to subtract. Para masubtract natin yan, i-copy natin sa x. So, sino mas malaki? Si 1 pip or si 3 pip? Si 3 pip, diba? So, 3 pip, 3 over 5, o pwede natin ilagay 3 over 5 minus 1 third. So, kapag subtraction naman, copy nyo lang din sa sign. Copy natin yung sign that is 5. Then, 3 minus 1, that is 2. So, meron tayong 2 over 5. X raised to 2 over 5. Naunawaan po ba? Uh -huh. So another example negative power Kapag negative power, so I will delete all lahat ng ito ha. Screenshot nyo na muna. Ayan, nabura ko na pala. yung katago ko rin. Okay, another example is negative power. For example, nakakita tayong x, then raise to negative n. So, katulad kanina, diba? kapag nang minus kayo, so kapag may negative na exponent, nandito na siya sa baba. x raise to m, so 1 over x raise to m. So, yung m naging positive na, pero nasa denominator siya. Kung gusto niya maging positive itong exponent nyo, ilagay niyo siya sa denominator. Okay? Then kapag nasa denominator na siya, same value, same amount, pero negative na naman siya. Hindi na siya positive, negative na siya. Ang sindihan? So, ayun natin, ilalagay si power of A. Power of A, 0. Ano yun? Negative power pala. Negative power. Sumunod? 
Si Zero Power. Pinaka-favorite sa lahat. Zero Power. Okay, ano nagagawa ni Zero Power? So, x raised to 0 is equal to 1. Any number raised to 0, for example, x raised to 0, that is 1. And then, as sample, 100 raised to 0, that is also 1. Okay? Any number, basta nag raised to 0, bakit ang 0 kay pagkakalaki dito? 10 raised to 0. So, magiging 1 yan. is equal to 1. Okay? Then, hindi yung degree ha, raised to 0 yan. 10 raised to 0 is equal to 1. And also, any number raised to 0, that is 1. So, hindi na naman yun. Basta kapag may nag 0, that is 1 na. For example, katulad kasi na to. For example, we have 3 raised to 1 half over 3 raised to 1 half also. Diba? So, parehas lang 1 half. 1 half minus 1 half, 0 ang kalalabatan. So, magkaroon tayong 3 raised to 0. And 3 raised to 0 is equal to 1. Okay? So, ganun siya. Kasi, di ba, pag gantong subtract, kapag gantong quotient, ipag, so subtract naman natin siya. Okay? So, iyon lahat yung rule of the ex rational exponent. So, sino may tanong ba sa mga rule? May tanong ba tayo sa mga rule? Wala. So, we're going to simplify expression with rational exponent. So, kanina, lahat ng sinabi ko sa inyong rule and law, yun yung kailangan natin para masimplify. For example, we have here 81. 81 raised to 3 over 2. Okay. So, isipin nyo. Ano kaya? Ano kaya? Ang equivalent ni 3 over 2. Ano kaya yung equivalent ni 81 bago kapag naka-raise siya sa 3 over 2? Yun yung alamin natin. We're going to compute this. And to know what is the value of this equation. Or ang value naman talaga niya 81 raised to 3 over 2. Pero may simplify pa siya. So para masimplify natin yan, so lagyan niyo na muna ng backhold itong 81. Yan. First step, lagyan niyo ng backhold. Sa akin, yun yung first step ko. Lagyan niyo ng backhold. Si 81 raised to 3 over 2. So last time, parang ganito lang din yung ginagawa natin. Okay? 3 over 2. Ngayon, pag nalagyan na na ng backhold ng grouping si 3 of 81, so hanap kayo, kasi itong denominator dapat mawala to. Okay? Dapat mawala yung denominator natin. So, kung mawala yung denominator, ibig sabihin, kailangan natin numanap ng 81 na ang x niya is raised to 2. Okay? Ano yung value ni x kapag ni-raise to 2 natin siya? Kasi ito, 3 over 2 siya. So, 81 dago 3 over 2. So, kailangan natin umanap ng, na 81 is equal to x and raise to 2. So, ano yung, da, ano yung number na pwede natin ipalit kay x para maging raise to 2 siya na 81 yung sagot? X squared ng 81. Sure, 9 squared. Okay, 9 squared. So, kapag nilagay natin 9 squared, so, although meron na tayong 9 squared, kasi in-squared natin yung 81, diba? So, 9 squared, then raise to 3 over 2. Okay, anong rule ang nagpapakita ngayon sa ganito? 9 squared, raise to 3 over 2. Anong rule yan? That is a... Power rule. Okay? Power rule yan. Kasi power of a power. Okay? Power rule yan. 
So power power, then may power pa ulit. So power rule or power of a power. Para mag magawa natin yan, kailangan natin multiply C2 by 3 over 2, diba? So, ang tarong tayo ng 9, copy lang din natin si 9. So, 2 times 3 over 2. So, cancel nyo lang ito si 2, cancel nyo ito si 2, kasi over 1 yan, diba? So, magtitira is 3 over 1, 3 over 1, or 1 na lang. Pwede 1 na lang natin dito. Kung gusto nyo naman compute in, diba? 2 times 3 over 2. So, ilagay natin 2 times 3, what is 2 times 3? That is 6. Then, divide natin yung 6 kay 2. 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Okay? Ang 6, matingin natin sa dalawa. So, tatlo ang kalalabasan. So, parehas lang naman silang 3. Bakit ito yung 1? Parehas lang silang 3. So, parehas lang silang 3. So, magkakaroon tayo, imbis na 9 raised to 3 over 2, magiging 9 raised to 3 na lang yung ating sila. Then, what is the simplify of 9 raised to 3? So, kapag inex, kapag expand natin yung 9 raised to 3, diba? ano magiging sagot noon? 9 times 9, that is 81 times 9. What is 81 times 9? That is 729. So, meron tayong 729. Okay. Pag nagsisimplify tayo, dapat ang sagot natin without exponents na. Okay? So, ang 9, 9 cube, ganito ang kalalabasan niya. Ibig sabihin, tatlong beses natin din multiply si 9 sa kanyang sarili. At ang kinalabasan natin is 729. Okay? 729. May tanong ba tayo? Sir, wala ako. Napapalo up naman, nakakachop? Sure, yes. Nakakachop naman. So, burayin ko na. So, another example. We have here 125, 125, then nakarace siya to 2 over 3. 2 over 3. So, paano natin siya isi-simplify? So, ang ginagawa ko dyan, common denominator, yun yung ginagawa kong race dito sa number sa base natin. So, gaya nga sabi ko sa inyo, i-grouping siya naman ng 125, Para hindi na tayo malito. Then, raise to 2 over 3. Yun yung ginagawa ko. Okay? So, pwede naman panguli nyo na i-group ko kung hindi na kayo nalilito. So, meron tayong 125 raise to 2 over 3. Then, ang 125, gagawin ko siyang base. Hatiin ko siya. Kailangan, yung target ko, yung 3, ay mapalabas ko as an exponent. Sa 125. So, anong number? So, 125. It equals to x raised to 3. Ganyan yun ka dapat kalalabas na x. So, anong number kaya na kapag nirace natin sa 3 is 125 ang sagot? 5 po. Dahil ang 5 times 5, 25 times 5, 125. So, 5 yun, diba? So, 5 raised to 3 raised to 2 over 3. Okay. So, copy natin si 5. Then, pag multiply natin yung 3 times 2 over 3. This is the exponent. So, cancel nyo na lang to Cancel to So, na lang makikira na. So, so, meron tayong 5 raised to 2. And 5 raised to 2, what is 5 raised to 2? Five squared. Or simply... 5 times 5, diba? So, that is 25.
Naunawaan? Okay. Naunawaan naman. Okay, another example, we have here negative. Negative 3, 32, then raised to 4 over 1. Raised to 4 over 1, day, over 5 pala. Raised to 4 over 5. Okay, so we have negative 32, then raised to 4 over 5. So in negative 32, so, kailangan kasi mapalabas tong 5 as an exponent. So, lagyan natin negative 32. Na kapag yung kalalabasan niya is x raised to 5. So, ano kaya number? Ano kaya number na pwede natin ilagay sa x para kapag nirate natin siya sa 5 is 32 ang kalalabasan. Negative 32 pala ang kalalabasan. Isip kayo, anong number? Na kapag yung base natin, ano kaya yun? Na kapag na-multiply sa kapag pinag-multiply natin sa kanilang sarili is negative 32 ang kalalagat. Meron ba? Nagdaw sila. Sure, so, negative 2 po. Okay, very good. Negative 2. So, wag natin kakalimutan sa negative 2. Raise to 5. So, kasi kasama sa grouping sign, grinoping sign yung negative 32. So, negative sign, kasama yung sa exponent natin. So, negative 2, raised to 5. So, magkakaroon ngayon tayo dyan. Magkakaroon dyan. Bago, negative 2, raised to 5, raised to 4 over 5. 4 over 5. Okay? So, copy natin yung base natin na negative 2. Then, yung, multi yung exponent nila, 5 times 4 over 5. So, cancel natin si 5, cancel natin si 5. Kasi parang maritira. Negative 2, so raised to 4. So ano kaya ang negative 2 raised to 4? So parang sinabi natin na negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2 times negative 2. So ano ang kalalabasan ng apat na negative 2 pag pinagsapay sa kanyang sarili? Negative 2 times negative 2, that is positive 4. Times negative 2, magiging negative 8. Times negative 2, magiging positive 16. So, positive 16 yung ating sagot. Naunawaan po ba? Naunawaan po natin? Charaho. Picture eh. Picture eh. Okay, pang apat, we have a power of a product. Ang gantong isura ng power of a product. For example, we have here 4. 4. 
m raised to 6, then n raised to 12, then times 1 half. Okay? So, dito naman, pwede nyo naman silang computein muna. So, simplify nang din naman ang gagawin natin dyan. Computein natin. So, kapag gantong power of a product, lahat yan, pati si 4, lebigyan natin ng exponent sa 1 half. Okay? So, kung i-equal natin siya, equal, magkaroon tayo ng 4, raised to 1 half, 4 raised to 1 half, then times m raised to 6 plus, ay, times pala, times 1 half, then times ulit to, n raised to 12 times 1 half. Okay? So, what is 4 raised to 1 half? Yung 4 raised to 1 half, so, gawin natin, ibukod natin si 2, kasi magiging 2 raised to 2 siya, diba? Magiging 2 raised to 2, yan. Then raised to 1 half. Ginawa kong exponential form siya na may 2 para makancel natin yung 2. Makancel natin yung 2 dito. Magiging 2 raised to 1 na lang siya. 2 raised to 1 or 2 na lang. So, itong 4 natin, naging 2 na lang siya. Naging 2. Then, ito naman. We have base natin m, ba? So, copy na lang natin si base. Then, yung 6 times 1 half. So, sir, wala tayong pwedeng cancel. Yes. Kung wala tayong pwedeng i-cancel, i-multiply na lang natin. 6 times 1, that will be 6 over 2. And 6 divided by 2, that will be 3. Diba? So, pag dinibide naman natin yon. 6 times 1, that is 6 divided by 2, then that will be 3. So, 3 na lang yung magiging exponent ng ating 6 times 1 half. Then, ang n naman, ganyan din, copy natin si base na n, then magkakaroon tayo ng 12 times 1 over 2. So, 12 times 1, that will be 12 over 2. Then, 12 over 2, so 12 divided by 2, that will be 3. So, magkakaroon tayo ng, ay, 12 divided by 2, that will be 6. Parang lutang na lutang ako ngayon. Okay. Then, pagkatapos na yan, pag-combine na lang natin. 2, M, 3, and 6. Okay? So, iyan na yung ating final answer. Then, ba? Okay. 2 M cube, then N raised to 6. May tanong ba tayo sa isang ito? May tanong ba, Justin? Wala. How about you, Kaisel? Sure, wala naman. Daniela, may tanong ba, Daniela? Wala po. Okay. Tati-tati mo na lang. Then, punta tayo sa last part. So, the last one is A X raised to Q over 343, ang hirap naman ito, 343. Y raised to 6, then naka-squared pala sila, ay naka-exponent pala sila sa 2 -third. Okay? So, equal natin. So, sabi ko kanila lahat, lahat yan, lalagyan natin ng exponent sa 2 -third. Yung 8, magkaroon siya ng exponent sa 2 -third. Yung cube din, magkakaroon ng exponent sa 2 -third. Then also, hindi lang sa numerator. Pati sa denominator, gagawin din natin yun. Okay? Lahat gagawin natin, even in our numerator or denominator. So, isa-isahin natin kasi didistribute natin itong 2 -third, uh, sa bawat isa as multiplication. 
Okay? So, unahin natin si A. Then, si A. Then, nakare siya sa 2 thirds. Okay? Then, multiply natin kay X. Then, 3 multiply kay 2 thirds. Kasi, kapag dalawang exponents nila, so, multiplication yun. Kaya yung 3, i-multiply natin kay 2 thirds since meron naman dito 3 na exponent at 2 thirds na exponent. Ipag e multiply natin yung dalawa. So, later on na natin pag-multiply. Then, yung 343, 343, meron din tayong 2 thirds dyan. Lalagyan din natin ng 2 thirds. Then, tatimes natin kay y raised to 6 times 2 thirds. Okay, nag-gets ba kung saan galing si 2 thirds? Nag-gets naman kung saan galing si 2 thirds. And that is the distribution ng ating exponent. Lahat sila lalagyan natin ng 2 thirds. Then, pagkatapos natin malagyan 2 thirds, simplify natin. Unahin natin itong si 8 raised to 2 thirds. So, pwede natin siyang i-grouping. So, 8 raised to 2 thirds. So, 3 yung denominator niya, no? So, isip tayo ng sa 8 na kapag ginawa natin 3 yung denominator, 8 pa rin ang sagot. What number is that? Gagawin natin exponential form na 3 yung exponent ng 8. Sure, 3. Ay, 2 po. 2. So, 2 raised to 3, that is 8, diba? 2 raised to 3, that is 8. Then, raised to 2 thirds. So, cancel natin itong 3, cancel natin yung 3. So, matitira na lang is 2 over 2 or 4. Yeah. Diba? 2 raised to, eh, hindi pala over. 2 squared or 2 raised to 2 is equal to 4. So, meron na tayong 4 sa unahan. Then, ito namang sunod. We have x. So, yung exponent na lang pala yung pagmumultiply natin, diba? We have 3 times 2 over 3. So, cancel lang natin itong dalawang 3. So, ito ang matitira. So, x squared. So, meron na tayong 4x squared. Then, dito naman tayo sa pangalawa. 343. Marayin ko lang. Then raise to two thirds. Ano kaya number ang pwede sa exponential form ni 343 na merong exponent na 3. Okay? Na may exponent siya na 3. Do you think? Seven po. Seven raised to three. Seven times seven. Forty-nine. Times three. Ay, forty-nine times seven. So, seven raised to three. Tama ba? Kompletin ko nga. Seven times 7 times 7 times 7. So, 343. So, tama. That is 3. So, may karoon tayo ng 7 raised to 3. Yan. Raised to 2 thirds. 2 thirds. So, cancel natin si 3. Cancel natin si 3. Matitira si 7 raised to 2. Or 7 squared. So, lagay natin 7 squared. Ah, hindi na pala 7 squared na ilalagay natin. 7 squared is equivalent to 49. 49 na yung lalagay natin dito. 49. Then, dito naman tayo pumunta. Magkaroon tayo ng y. Then, yung 6 times 2 over 3. Diba? 6 times 2. Kapag ganito, multiply lang natin. Multiply, divide lang ito. So, 6 times 2 
6 times 2, that is 12, divided by 3. So, divided by 3, 12 divided by 3, that is 4. So, magkaroon tayo ng y raised to 4. Okay? So, meron pa ba tayong pwedeng ipag-combine? Wala na. Diba? Wala na tayong pwedeng ipag-combine. So, iyan na yung magiging final answer natin. So, 4x squared over 49y to the 4. So, iyan na yung ating final answer. So, may tanong po ba? Uh, 